Now this is a question mainly posed by Muslims more than atheists, but um, in Mark chapter 13, verse 32, um, it, it talks about Jesus not knowing uh, the time or the hour when he would come back when he was uh, on earth and say, people say that you know because Jesus didn't know that he wasn't divine and you know, how would I respond to that? Yeah, that's an excellent question and the way you respond to it is you got to point out that Jesus was someone who had two natures. In fact, this is a graphic of the Trinity. Now there's no perfect illustration of a Trinity but this one I think does a pretty good job of it. Think of God the divine nature like a triangle having three corners. You have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So you have God who has three persons in his nature. Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, also has a human nature. These two natures are not intermingled, but Jesus has a human nature as well as a divine nature. So when you ask the question, how could Jesus be God when he didn't know when he was coming back? Whenever you ask a question about Jesus, you always have to ask two questions. Why? Because he had two natures. Did Jesus know when he was coming back as God? Yes. Did he know when he was coming back as man? No. Did Jesus get hungry? As man, yes. As God, no. Did Jesus get tired? As man, yes. As God, no. So whenever you ask a question about Jesus, you always have to ask two questions. Now you can also look at it this way. That God is one what with three who's. Who one, who two, and who three. But Jesus is one who with two what's. What one, the divine nature, and what two, the human nature. So whenever you ask a question about who two, you got to ask what, what are you talking about? Are you talking about what one or what two? Because if you get those two mixed up, you don't know which who is going to give you the right answer. All right. This is the Abbott and Costello theology. All right.